Hey guys, uh, Pipe Function here, uh, and we're taking a look at Shadowcraft and uh, and just trying to see what type of difference do different optimizations give you. And uh, common question, really common question, is what stat priority uh, are you supposed to be using? Is it is it haste? Is it mastery or crit or or some combination thereof? And uh, and if you watched my other previous video, I touched on it as far as the stat weightings. But what these tell you is how valuable that stat is compared to each other. So a higher number uh, will result in more DPS. A, a lower number will result in less relative DPS. Uh, and all these numbers are relative. But as we can see right here, they're actually pretty darn close. Um, I don't even use Shadowcraft for, uh, for my reforging and my gymming and stuff like that. I just kind of play it by ear and I'll show you why because it actually doesn't make that much of an impact especially for assassination and uh, we'll just take a look at that so we can see here I have a DPS number uh, right over here on the right and uh, you know it's about 220 and uh, if we were to just let Sh Shadowcraft do all the work we could see we got you know, 0.1% DPS increase. Optimizing gems. We'll do that again. And if we do a reforge, see it changed a whole bunch of stuff, but uh, that looks like a really big number. 800 DPS, oh, that's that's really big, but you got to remember we're talking about 220k uh, base, so I mean, that's just less than a percent. In fact, that's all that combined together is a thousand DPS. It's 0.5 percent. 0.5 percent DPS. I mean, I, I'm fairly sure that that's below the actual error of this tool. And tools do uh, uh, tools like this do have errors. You know, whether it's a bug or whether uh, it's calculating something wrong. There's going to be some error. Uh, but if we wanted to take a look at, at other priorities, we can manually force Shadowcraft to take a different priority. And uh, we can do that right there. As you can see, it's, it's, it's just going to follow in this range. And hardly any difference whatsoever, whatever you do. I'm just going to go through them all that quick, just so, just so you can see. There we go. That yeah, was a little slow. Sometimes Shadowcraft does get stuck on a non, not necessarily unoptimal, but not the most optimal point. And so you can do these manual reforges just to test and see if it's uh if it's doing something that that seems fishy. So that all together is still you know 0.5% DPS. I mean that's that's pitiful. That's what that is. And as we can see on these these stat ratings are they're still, they're just so close that any any amount that you could change it would still, with reforging, you can only reforge 40% away. So any difference that, any already small difference that these stats have between each other is then reduced by 60% because you can only reforge 40% off of it. So... Um, that's not the only thing that, that that makes a difference. A lot of times there's a big debate over what's the best uh, 
tier one. As you can see, I, I go with Night Stalker just because um, I like the speed. But uh, how much am I giving up by giving up that? So we could see, let me get rid of this. I lost 600 DPS. And what was that? 0.25% DPS, something like that. That's how much that, that talent's worth. Now, the standard talent is Shadow Focus. And that's actually pretty darn significant. Comparatively, out of all the stuff that we just did, this is three times as big. So you have to make your own decisions as far as is, what is it, uh, one, maybe one percent? Was that one percent? Maybe 1.5 percent? Oh, it's late at night. I can't do math right now. Anyway, whatever, you, you got to make this decision of, of whether or not this is something that's important to you. Uh, and then you can do this with uh, the glyph of glyphs and stuff. The only one that really works on is a uh, vendetta glyph. So, uh, yeah, I hate that glyph. It lasts way too long. And uh, you can also mess around with some other things. So this is another common question is how do you open? Do you open with ambush? Do you open with mutilate? Do you open with garrote? Does it matter? Uh, well, not really. Uh, 500 DPS. It looks like Garrote's beating out Ambush. I, I it, You may be thinking this is a bug, but I've seen this before. Uh, Garrote actually isn't bad to open up with. And, uh, so yeah, you can also do some, uh, uh, we won't go over that. The last thing I wanted to touch on is, is after you've done all this other optimizations and stuff like that, you want to get them out of the game. You don't want to just be tapping back and forth. Uh, one of the features that I didn't cover in the last video was uh, ways to get these optimizations into game very easily. And you can see there's a palm button. Pawns are an add-on uh, that you can install on, onto the wall client, and it will uh, give you gearing recommendations and stuff. But uh, by default, it it uses some usually uses some pretty bad values. But uh, you can just import your customized palm values. Just customize right right for your gear instead of some generic best in slot gear. Uh, you can just copy that and then uh, just copy it and then paste it right into uh, to the import of Pawn and uh, it'll get you all set up. Another thing you can do is uh, you can export the reforging. There's a uh, add-on called uh, Reforgerade that a lot of people use. And uh, well, you just highlight it and uh, copy it and put it in game. And I uh, think that was the big things that I missed. There, are, there's been a few changes to uh, to Shadowcraft since the last time we did the videos. One was they added this, the Force Priority, and uh, what is another one? I can't remember what it was. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, as you can see, assassination is fairly stable as far as the stat way it goes. So, you know, next time you, you, you have a question about whether or not uh, on this, what stats you should be reforging to and stuff like that, just realize that. It probably doesn't matter. Um, it's going it, the amount of time, uh, how well you perform in a fight is going to depend much more on 
how well you know the fight and how well you execute your rotations and especially how well you, you um, utilize your cooldowns and how, how well you are on target all the time. Those are going to have a much bigger impact uh, over your DPS, over your performance than you know, spending hours uh, re-gemming and reforging everything. Not to mention all the gold that goes uh, go, goes with uh, with changing all that stuff. So you know, just pull the boss one more time is going to have a much bigger impact than uh, spending uh, you know, fifteen, twenty, thirty minutes uh, changing up all your gear and everything. Um, and there was something else that I wanted to talk about. The, uh, I'm not going to remember, am I? Yeah. Oh, there are uh, a few optimizations that you can do. Uh, if you've re ever read a guide on assassination, uh, you've read about uh, in venom pooling and uh, rupture clipping and uh, uh, rupture optimization and venom optimization however people call it or uh, CP pooling energy pooling and uh, how much of an impact that is and I'm still uh, trying to figure out whether or not I want to do a video on that uh, so if if you guys want to, to see a video about the impact of, of those sorts of optimizations have and trust me, it'll be much more in depth. Uh, we'll be using uh, simulation craft, so we'll be learning a little bit about simulation craft as well uh, in that video. But uh, I'm not just going to do it if, if there's, there's no interest because uh, it, it's going to take some time to set that up because I have to. Well, I have to to write the uh, rotation changes and stuff like that into the into the program to get it to work. But uh, if you want to see that please uh just leave a comment or uh i don't know uh send me an email or a tweet just let me know if you want to see the video and uh, that's about it uh thank you for watching and y'all have a great day oh yeah like and subscribe I'm supposed to say that